attention and if you don't know the meaning of any words, it's OK. I will teach you. OK, just pay attention. OK. OK. Ready? Let's get started. OK. Once upon a time, there was a prosperous kingdom where people lived a peaceful life together. However, one day, when it's dark, many dark huh? entities appeared and attacked them. They believed that the magic relics had created those entities. Therefore, magic was forbidden in this kingdom. All the wizards were exported from the kingdom forever. And normal people had to live within the protection wall of the kingdom. Lux was a beautiful girl who had been born in a royal family. Her father was really loyal to the king. He even exported his own wife from the kingdom when seeing her use magic. Garen, her brother, was really talented. Lux always admired her brother. Lux and Garen are expected to be the potential heir of the family. Therefore, since they had been kids, they had to learn many things, especially about horse riding and fencing. But Lux was never interested in those things. Deep inside her, there was always a call for her to discover new things. One day, being too tired after getting the rebukes from her master, Lux came up with an idea. She wanted to go out to discover the world beyond that protection wall. She took the command tag from her father and used it to get out of the kingdom easily. When Lux was enjoying the beautiful scenery, her horse accidentally slipped and fell off the cliff. Fortunately, Lux didn't get injured, but her horse wasn't lucky like that. His leg was broken and he couldn't move. Oh, my poor horse, if I leave you here, you won't make it through. What should I do now? When the last sunshine had gone away, the dark entities appeared and attacked her. Despite the dangers, Garen looked for his sister for the whole night. And finally, in the early morning, he found her lying next to the horse. Looking at the burn marks around her, Garen could predict something, but he decided to keep silent. When everything was all right, he came to ask Lux about the night before. Knowing that she wouldn't be able to lie, Lux told her brother the truth. That night, when the dark entities attacked, our mom's necklace gave me the light power. Thanks to it, I could defeat the dark entities and made them run away. You are not allowed to use it in any way ever again. If you get caught, not only you, but our whole family will be in danger. I... I'm sorry. Hmm. However, after knowing that she can use magic, Lux could feel that this is the thing she had been looking for. After the fencing practice, she found the way to get out of the kingdom to practice magic. She gradually knew the way how to use light <laughs> magic. Suddenly, she saw a dark figure, hooded and cloaked, wandering out of the protection wall. It's so weird. He's not the guard. Why is he wandering here? Hmm. Magic? A witch is around here. Right out of the protection wall? What is he doing here? Hmm? 
Lux carefully followed the stranger. To the end of the tunnel, the scene before her eyes really astonished her. The dark entities were created continuously. Moreover, the energy for creating them was supplied by the wizards which had been exported before, including her mother. Surprisingly, the hooded boss realized her. She quickly used her light power to attack him, making him injured in the right hand. Then she immediately ran away. Lux quickly went back to tell her father and brother what she had just seen. But she didn't know that the dark entities had already followed. Dark entities? Why could they enter the castle? Being the best warriors in the kingdom, her father and her brother still got exhausted because the dark entities had outnumbered them. Seeing her father and her brother in danger, Lux had no choice but use her magic to struck them out. Okay, now let's talk about it, then keep going, okay? We will watch it again. So from the beginning, let's talk about it. Yeah, it's a good story. Do you like it? Yes, I very like it. Of course, I like it too. So let's talk about it. Okay, the story is about... It's uh, about... Uh, dark energies and... Um, yeah, they talk about the... Like the witch, some witch... Use magic to like make you dark know, of energy, yeah, yeah. dark energy to yeah to to uh, like like how do we do that? So let me say, actually, there was a peaceful kingdom, and people peaceful means friendly happy yeah peaceful people were very when people were very happy yeah, peaceful yeah. happy friendly okay and people live yeah. together yeah but some which like they hate they hate no, uh, they course. use magic to boom, some, boom, like the no, dark energies some entity dark entities like black Entity means something like something, like a creature, for example, like animal, or for example, something like this. Something very black entity, so means creature, like something that we don't know what it is, okay? So, they, they attacked. They Attack, yeah. The kingdom, they it attack. means they hit everyone and they tried to destroy everything and hit people. And because actually some wizard, some wizard, wizard means witch. Some witches, of course, made them, created them, made them. Create means make some wizards, some witches made them. And of course, after that, no one allowed to use magic. No one. If someone use magic, they need to go out of the town. Okay. And there was a beautiful girl, Lox. Her mother was a witch. And because of this, they sent her mother out of the town. They said, go out, you are a witch, you are using magic. Because her mother used magic, magic power. So because of this, the king said, go out. And uh, Lux and her brother were very talented because they could do some sports like horse riding and and 
do you remember? Okay. And fencing. Yeah, fencing. Fencing. Okay, horse riding, you know the meaning of horse riding. And fencing means actually that's a sword that they attack, okay, using sword. Yeah, this is fencing. Okay, so fencing is, let me write here, the sport of actually fighting. Fighting with a long sword. Okay, something like a long knife. They hit, ding, 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 ding. Okay, they fight. Well, and what happened one day? One day, locks decided to go out. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, go out and dog, dog, uh, he the dog, 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 what? Dog, of course. Dog. So, dog, dog to me. Yeah, of course. Dog. So. Uh, she went out of kingdom and suddenly, you know, uh, her horse fell off the lip and off. Has, yeah, off and has uh, like the small. Yeah, and its leg was broken. Yeah, it was broken. Yeah, of course. It's like yeah, it uh, like um I don't know how what you know. Locks yeah. use her magic. Locks use her magic to help it. And of course, you know, her bra and suddenly it was night and entities do you remember dark things like dark shadows, entities attacked, attacked locks. But her, pro her brother could find her and help her. Her brother understood that Lox used her magic and said, you shouldn't have used your magic. Okay, you are not allowed. It's dangerous for our actual kingdom. And Lox said, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, but there wasn't any other choice. One day... Locks understood that actually a hooded, a hooded person means you know the boy, you know the man covered, covered yeah, yeah, yeah. his face, so he was hooded. It means you know, uh, hooded, you know something like the mask. Ring, of course, with something I like food, covering face and head. So, who did a person who covered, who covered his face and head? He was who did. Okay, so suddenly, Lux followed, chased, chased followed the boy the man the hooded boss and saw wow he created he made these creatures these entities and one of that entities was her mother wow yeah. okay now let's see let's see the rest of video let's see what will happen okay works how dare you use magic? Guard! Huh? Huh? The winner. I had mercy on you, wizard. But you never appreciated that. You kept using magic. Your mother had been exported. How could you forget it so quickly? Your majesty. My sister is still young and dumb. Please, have mercy on her. Please, forgive her. Begging is useless. For my people, I have to export Lux from here forever. Huh? <laughs> Lux, what are you doing? 
<gasps> Lux told everyone what she had seen in that cave. When seeing the king only use left hand instead of right hand, I doubted about it, so I had to risk it. Of course I made it deviate to one side <gasps> intentionally. If there was nothing to dodge for him, he could never get injured. Your Majesty, how do you explain about this? Why did you create them? I created them to protect all of you weak people. You think with your little talent you can fight against other great kingdoms? Long ago, when I did Dream Wizard about creating the dark entities, but that damn wizard rejected it, so I had to do it by myself. Isn't those entities able to protect the kingdom? Why did he reject? Because the dark entities can only survive by sucking people's life spirit. Some years ago, your mother secretly investigated about this. And she had told me her suspicions, but I didn't believe her because I had been too loyal. I even made her get caught and exported from the kingdom. So that's the reason why people always feel tired every night? How dare you consider human as a source of food? You're always selfish like that. You all want to have a peaceful life, but you don't want to sacrifice anything. I won't let anyone ruin this plan. If my dark army grows strong enough, other great kingdoms will huh? have to kneel before me. The king summoned plenty of dark entities to cover him, making him bigger and stronger. Although having the light power, but there were so many dark entities, they took turns to fill the hole that she had created. Lux and her father were gradually exhausted. They couldn't fight against the king anymore. Suddenly, there was a light power coming to save them. It was Lux's mother, and beside her, there were also Garen and other wizards which had been captured by the king. At that time, when seeing the dangerous situation, Garen silently left. He went to the place that Lux mentioned before. It turned out that Garen had also inherited a part of his mother's power. It's not so much, but it's enough for him to open the gate which led to the secret place for the king. He rescued his mother and other wizards and asked them to go there and save his father and sister. <laughs> Lux, I and other people here will give our power. Use it to purify all the dark things in this kingdom. <laughs> She immediately used all of her power to make a critical hit. That light finally purified all the dark entities. After being defeated, the king was put into dark dungeon immediately. The kingdom was ruled by a new regime, which accepted the wizards and used their magic to help the kingdom. Once again, their life was peaceful as before. Ah, okay, that was good. So let's talk about it again. Okay, so what happened then when actually Locks understood what was going on, you know, and found the people, the witches, the wizards? What happened then? The like, like when Lux can't can attack the king. Yeah, the Lux can't attack the king. Her her brother used some magic to help all the wizard to like use the light energy to attack. The king with Lux. Nice, of course. Yes, and the kingdom 
always peaceful again. Of course, peaceful, peaceful life. So when the king understood and realized that locks used magic, he said, you need to go out of this kingdom because you used magic. And her brother said, no, please, please, please. He begged, he begged the king and said, please, please don't do this. Please don't, please forgive my sister. But the king said no. And suddenly, you know, Lux actually paid attention to King's right hand because he only used his left hand. And they figured out, they understood that the King created these dark entities and asked her, him, why did you do this? He said, because I wanted to save your lives. But he didn't. And you know, and Locke said, because of this, all people every day are really exhausted. They are very tired because the king made them to actually get food and help, for example, do something for dark creatures for the witches and because of these people were, were actually all the time very tired, exhausted. And of course, uh, Lux's brother had magic power. So he opened the secret gate. The secret gate, gate means the big gate door. Is yeah, the gate and rescued. Rescue means save, help them, help actually his mothers and other wizards. So let them go, let them go, let them free. And they started actually fighting with the king. After that, they could actually uh, remove and they could actually, of course, they attacked dark entities and they won. And they could vanish, actually, all of these bad things, bad creatures. And of course, they send, you know, they send the king to prison. Dungeon. Dungeon means prison. You no, know, they sent the king to prison because because the because the king used dark entity. Of course, because the king used dark entities. Okay, and of course they could purify the kingdom. They could clean everywhere. Purify means clean everywhere from dark, dark creatures or entities, dark entities. And of course, they could live in a peaceful place again, and they were very happy. Yeah. Ah. So, okay, so, and this is the story of today. Next session, we will have another story, okay? So, may I ask you to read these words? I want to check the pronunciation of the words. So, may I ask you to read them from the beginning? Okay. Thank you. And tell me the meaning of them because I want to know if you understood. The, so, beg, the first one, beg. Beg. Beg, beg means? I don't remember. You know, for example, I say, for example, please, Sarah, please yeah. don't do this. Yeah. Please, please, please. This is begging. Yeah. yeah. Exhausted means. Exhausted. Exhausted. Exhausted very mean very tired. Of course, of course. And the next one. Secret gate, secret, and means that it 
No, uh, yeah. Secret gate. Gate is mean a big door. Of course, gate means what is this? Gate means very big door, of course. And this one? Rescue is safe. Of course, rescue means safe. And this one? Um, dungeon. 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 Yeah, it means person. Prison. Prison means a place that bad to people actually uh, have to go there and they are not allowed to go out because they are bad people. They need to stay. So dungeon means prison. And the next one? Well, okay. Perfectly, this means clean. Okay, purify. Purify. Okay. Purify. And, and is hood. Hood, of course. When someone is hooded, means actually the first and head. Of course, and peaceful is happy and friendly. And the next one, entity is mean creature. Well, something, yeah. Attack. This mean hi hi hi. Of course, hit someone or or damage something, yeah. destroy something. Yes. Okay, and the next one. Hmm. Wizard. It means witch. Ha ha ha. Oh, I am a witch. So yeah. I have a magical stick, and I want to say, "Boppity, boppity, pop." No, your, your, like your energy, <laughs> your energy. I have light oh, energy. I have yeah, light energy. Very low. Okay. I'm very strong. Yeah, of course. But I am stronger than you. <laughs> well, I'm stronger than you because I have a magical pen. I have a real go. Oh, you have, but I don't. But I have a magical pen. I have a magical pen too, wait a minute. Oh, so let's fight. Let's fight. Watch, okay. Okay, I could win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, the next word. It's create. It means make. This one. Chase. It means follow. Of course, this one. There's mothers use magic powers. This one. Horse riding is mean like um like yeah like a hobby. Fencing. <laughs> yes. Fencing. Fencing is a the sport. Fighting with a long sword. Sword. Yeah, of course. And fall, fall up like oh. Oh God, like. Oh my god, my leg is broken. <laughs> the leg was broken. Yeah, excellent to you. Very good. Okay, well, so. Okay, story time is over and now it's time to book. Wow, book. book. Oh, of course, of course. Of course, okay, now we're gonna listen to an audio and read this text. Okay, just let me ask you a question. Uh, do you think sleep is important? Yes, I think sleep is important because we sleep before brain, um, brain have energies. Of course, yes. So let's listen to an audio and read this text. Then we will answer a few questions, okay? Okay, teachers. Unit 1, page 6, exercise 3. 
A, time for bed. You're back, ready? Yeah. Okay. Time for bed. Did you know that giraffes spend more than 23 hours a day awake? But cats spend 66% of their lives asleep. All animals are different. Adult humans need about seven hours sleep. But between the ages of 11 and 17, when our bodies and brains are changing, we need between nine and 11 hours. Sleep is incredibly important. Believe it or not, humans can survive more time without food than without sleep. Sleep is essential for our brain, Sarah. says Dr. Madison. Sarah, Sarah, what are you doing? I I okay, so oh, let's do something. Just finish, finish something that you are doing, and then we we'll read because you need to pay attention so I can wait for you. Okay, when you're okay. ready, to, okay, don't worry, just do it. Thanks, teachers. You're welcome here. Of course, I, I can wait for you. Just do it and don't rush. Okay, I will do fast. No, don't rush. It's okay. I can wait for you. Just do it. And after that, we can listen. Okay, two times two. Okay, teachers, I'm finished. Okay, very good. So let's get start from the beginning, okay? Because that's really important text. Time for bed. Did you know that giraffes spend more than 23 hours a day awake? But cats spend 66% of their lives asleep. All animals are different. Adult humans need about seven hours sleep. But between the ages of 11 and 17, when our bodies and brains are changing, we need between nine and 11 hours. Sleep is incredibly important. Believe it or not, humans can survive more time without food than without sleep. Sleep is essential for our brain, says Dr. Madison Radley, a university professor. While you're sleeping, your brain organizes information. If you don't sleep, your brain can't function. And if your brain can't function, you've got a problem. In fact, this is already a problem for many school children in the UK. I have a student who can't stay awake in class, one teacher told me. He lives a long way from school, so he gets up at 6 a.m. to get the bus. Sarah, are you looking at the book? Are you looking at the book? Yeah, sometimes because I need to, yeah, just... This job, yes. I don't have any you time need to. Do to. What? Yeah. Okay, so let me let me ask you. What are you doing? You do you, actually. You need to do what? What What do you need to do? So yeah. tell me. I, I don't know how to. Okay, just do it. It's okay because you know, dear. So first, do it. Okay, first do it. Finish it. Okay. Thanks. Yes. 
You're welcome, my dear. Just finish it. Don't worry. OK, just relax. Okay, teachers, I'm ready. Ready, ready? Yes. Promise? Ready, ready. Okay, so from the beginning again. Just okay. pay attention. That's really important because if you don't listen and don't look at the book, you won't understand. Okay, so again, from the beginning. A, time for bed. Did you know that giraffes spend more than 23 hours a day awake, but cats spend 66% of their lives asleep. All animals are different. Adult humans need about seven hours sleep, but between the ages of 11 and 17, when our bodies and brains are changing, we need between nine and 11 hours. Sleep is incredibly important. Believe it or not, humans can survive more time without food than without sleep. Sleep is essential for our brain, <coughs> says Dr. Madison Radley, a university professor. While you're sleeping, your brain organizes information. If you don't sleep, your brain can't function. And if your brain can't function, you've got a problem. In fact, this is already a problem for many school children in the UK. I have a student who can't stay awake in class, one teacher told me. He lives a long way from school, so he gets up at 6 a.m., to get the bus. He has activities after school and sometimes doesn't get home until six in the evening. Then, after dinner and homework, he probably spends at least three hours on his phone watching videos and messaging friends. As our lives get busier, it's becoming more difficult to rest. Kids now do more activities and homework than ever before, and they rarely disconnect from social media. With a phone next to the bed and messages still arriving at 1 a.m., some kids are only getting six or seven hours sleep. That's enough, but only if you're a giraffe. B. Top tips for better sleep. Routines are important. Go to bed at the same time every day. Avoid sugary food and drinks in the evening. Avoid using phones and computers at least an hour before going to bed. And never have a phone in your bedroom. Go for a walk or get some exercise in the evening. Find time to relax. C. I'm winning at NBA 2K18 again. Still the champion. What are you doing? Seriously? Are you still playing video games? I'm going to bed. I need to get to bed early. It is early. Message me later, OK? Can't. I'm not allowed to have a phone in my room or a TV. Let's talk tomorrow. No screens, huh? That's cruel. OK, well, from the beginning, you know, giraffes spend more than 23 hours a day awake. So they don't sleep just one hour? because every day is 24 hours. 
So when they are awake, it means they are not slept. So they are awake 23 hours. It means they only sleep one hour. Just one? Oh, it's too short, I think. It's not enough. Do you think it's enough? Just one hour? Yes, I think that too. Of course, it's too short. Just one hour. And you know, adult human. And let me say something awake. Awake means not slept. You know, not slept. I am awake now. When I'm asleep, you know, I'm asleep. But now I'm awake. Adult human, adult human like me, your mom, your dad, we are adult, for example, 30 year old, 40 year old, 50 year old, we are adult, okay? Adult human need about seven hours a day sleep. But between the ages of 11 and 17, how old are you, Sarah? I'm how nine. I'm nine. You're nine. So when our bodies, our bodies and our brains are changing, we are growing up, we need between nine and 11 hours. So now you need about 11 hours, maybe 10 or 11 hours sleep. So tell me, do you sleep 11 hours? When is Saturday? Oh, just when it's Saturday? Okay, so how about the other days? Seven how hours. No, nine Seven. hours. Yes, I slept. Nine is good. Yeah, nine like two, good. nine, no. Uh, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. How many? Ah. Okay, oh, eight. Eight. Wait. Eight hours. 10 no. p.m. to 6 a.m. eight hours. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. is eight hours. Why? Because, because 10 to 10, 11, 12, two hours, and 12 to 6 a.m. six hours. So six plus two equals eight. Okay. Well, sleep is incredibly very important. Human, human means people. People can survive, can be alive. More time without food than without sleep. It means, for example, you can be alive maybe 10 days without food, but you can't be alive about 10 days without sleep. Sleep is very important. Sleep is essential. Essential means very important for our brain. Yes. Because while you are sleeping, your brain organizes, make plans. And if you don't sleep, your brain can't function, can't work. It doesn't work. And if your brain can't function, can't work, you've got problem. In fact, you know, there are some problems with the UK students. For example, one student who wakes up at 6 a.m. because he needs to get the bus. And after that, he has some activities after school and sometimes doesn't get home until 6 p.m. So 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. is too long. And after dinner and homework, they, you know, he probably spends three hours on his phone. Oh. It's too much watching videos and messaging friends. Tell me, do you use your phone? Do you use mobile phone? I use, you my, use? I use my old mother's phone. Some of the time I watch TV. Of course you watch TV. Of course, excellent to you. You're really smart. And you know, when we get busier, our lives get busier. Actually, it's really big, hard to rest. We don't have enough time because we need to go to work, do lots of things. And now kids do more activities and homework, you know, yeah. than before. And, you know, they use 
they use social media, Instagram, YouTube. So they watch lots of videos on YouTube and social media. It's not good. And of course, they go to bed with their phones. They message their friends until 1 a.m. It's not good. So they don't have enough sleep. So it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. OK, let's answer this question. Number one, tell me. Why do adults need less sleep? Why do adults need less sleep? Hmm. I need to remember again. You can read the first paragraph. Okay. Yeah. I don't find a. Uh, when when you are when you are actually between the ages of eleven and seventeen, so when you are children. When actually you are younger, your bodies and your brains are changing. But yeah. when we are, you know, when you are adult, your brain is not changing. Yeah. For example, I actually, I won't grow anymore. Okay. It's finished. But you are growing up. Your brain is growing up. Your body is growing up. So you need more sleep. But me, your mom, your dad, for example, all human adults, we don't grow up anymore. We don't. So we don't need actually the same sleep time as you. You need more sleep. Yeah? Get it? Okay. Number two. If the students in text A has two hours of homework. What time do you think he goes to bed? Two hours. You know, you normally need to go to sleep at 9 p.m. So if you have two hours homework, when do you go to sleep? When I have a homework, two hours, when I sleep, I like. When I go to sleep, I like go to bed. Three seconds, three to one. <laughs> yeah, when you're actually your head hit the pillow, yeah. oh, you fall asleep. So tired, yeah, so tired. Yeah, of course. So tell me number two, if the students in text A has two hours of homework, so they need to go to bed at 9 p.m. But if they have two hours homework, when do they go to bed? One minute. Yeah. When we eat dinner to 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Yeah. We we do homework two hours. It means 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And we we need to five or ten minutes to put the homework into bed and uh, no into the backpack it mean 9 p.m 9 9 9 p.m 9 okay nine. so you think nine okay yeah and why why do teenager teenager means a person who is between the age of maybe 13 yes. 13. 13 yeah 13 yeah 13 means yeah teenager you mean of course so why do teenagers have difficulty sleeping why they can't sleep because was in this yeah, and in this in, in this age we have many we have many friends. 
Oh, yeah. Just... Yeah. And we, like, when we small, we can say, we, we like, we very, very, very kind. Yeah, but when you are teenagers, yeah, um, when you are teenagers, you be naughty. Yeah. In Vietnam has a student grade 10 attack his mom because oh. his mom don't give money to him. Oh, it's too yeah. bad. Oh, good. sorry to hear that. It's not good. Wow. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's not good, of course. Such bad guy. Yeah. Wow. Well, so Do not... to watch the phone. What are you? When Tina is sleeping, like. Of, yes, yes, of course. Doing? Of course, they are messaging. Of course, you know. Of course, yeah, yes. when sleeping, yeah, when they go to bed, they actually are used to messaging with friends, you know, maybe until 1 a.m., 2 a.m., so, of course, they don't have enough sleep. Okay, my dear. So, we need to skip this topic for the next session because we don't have enough time, so we need to. So, tell me if you have any question. <laughs> I have a question. Good for you. So you don't have any question. So you say I don't. No, I don't. Okay, my dear. So have a very good week. Brilliant. Very good week. And see you next session at the same time. Yeah, but I have a question. Like, of course. Don't, what is a person? Don't sleep in one week. Oh, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's it's really it dangerous. For science. Of course. So they get exhausted, very tired, so it's impossible. Yeah, they have a story. So, um, yeah. So uh next week I will talk about this story for you. Of course, you will tell me the story and I want to hear. So next week, just you know, remember that you will tell me the story, okay? This yeah, this Sorry, name. Seven days don't sleep. Oh, wow. Real That's great. Well. Okay, I want to listen. Okay, so I'm waiting for to listen the story. Okay? Okay, teachers. Bye bye. Bye, my dear. Goodbye. Bye, bye teachers. Bye. 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 -bye.